Good morning everyone. So the other day we went and got a post office pickup and there's a whole bunch of stuff over here that I have to sort out for the kids. Thank you very much guys. This is a huge blessing. So the kids are going to start school in less than two weeks and we're we haven't got the computer back yet for Raphael but as soon as it gets hooked up I am going to organize that entire area might take some stuff out might move some stuff around but uh yeah it's going to get completely organized and a lot of their uh like painting stuff and drawing stuff they're not going to do there anymore they're going to do it in here again so we're going to take that out and it's just going to be computer schoolwork time. Okay, my mom doesn't like oatmeal, so she brought it back. <laughs> That's all right. Oops. Raisin date walnut or apples and cinnamon. Which one do you want, Abigail? Apples and cinnamon. Oh, yeah? yeah. Which one do you want? A-S. Apples and cinnamon. How do you spell cinnamon? S-I- mm. What? Okay, how do you spell cinnamon? C I N N A M O N. Those tricky little letters sounding the same. It should have been C E C. Well, you tell the people who who did that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Just so we're clear, this is two packages right here. Two packages. So that's good for a kid. Uh, I would say three packages is probably one serving for an adult. Uh, but one package is like three bites. So, I don't... I, mm, okay. Yeah, they're going to have some cream on top. Good? Mm -hmm. okay. I could eat a whole big box of this now. I bet. It's very mm. tasty. It smells very good. The whole house smells good now. Did you want to say something? Mm-hmm. This doesn't last very long. You said three bites per package, so we need a lot of this. Like, more than five packages to fill this bowl. Maybe. But, that's just for taste. Right? Mm-hmm. For taste. Are we gonna have more? Nope. Ah. This is so good! Mm. There's a challenge Daddy it's, gave me. It's like sugar! This hand is not good, and he challenged me for extra, extra, extra large points. Seven meals. Probably have to move That's your. Not. This is how to eat with Move your, your glass hand. out of your way. Yeah, thanks. And hand. try to eat it with a normal hand, like not gripping it like that. Yeah, there you go, like that. That makes it harder, though. Of course. Well, we got the things all set up, but it started to rain. So I guess now they're going to play with the train. Trap. But I set up these, and right now, this is for, like, him to go through a soccer ball thing. And her. And it starts all the way back here. Back here behind the car. And all the way over there. However, it is sprinkling outside right now, so can't do it yet. Lifting it. Okay, so can a really large magnet lift the train car without the train command? Can it? Yes. Abigail was right. It can. Good job. All right, let's go outside. Can I go to the beginning? It's going to rain, but it is not raining right now, so... I missed one. That's all right. I'm not good. Just start from that point. I did it again. You don't have to start over. Okay, I've got as work as a team. Yeah, let's kick as a team. You kick it to me, I kick it over there, and then the pattern goes on. Okay, you got it. You got it. Nice, 
Uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna work on the power lines. Get it! Good job! I'm a rock lover. Yeah, rock lover. Are you gonna put that with your collection? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's better in a bucket than it is in my lawnmower, that's for sure. Of course it is. Good job! Yeah, yeah. It's hot out here and it's also thundering, so We've got maybe one more minute left, so hurry up and play. Throw the ball, kick the ball. I'm not letting Rudy out because she's just going to get in the dirt and get wet if she does, so she's not coming out at all. Um, yeah, it's going to rain probably for another couple hours, and we'll see how it is after the storm passes. It's either going to rain or it's not. That's the way it is right now. It's like 50-50, but it's looking like it's going to rain. And it was thundering just a second ago, so. <sighs> yeah. Flies are out. It's summer. <laughs> That's true. I'm good at catching. Okay, so when we talked to Best Buy about our computer, because we're like, what the heck's going on here? Um, when we went there, they were like, yeah, order the part, and we'll go get it, and we'll put it in your computer. Okay, well we did that and then we tried to call Best Buy. You don't talk to anybody in that store, you talk to a national chain. So I was like, who is this? She said, Mary, who is this? And I said, Mary, what is your ID? She said, one, two, three, four. And I'm like, hello? Mary, one, two, three, four? Anyway, she was in like Boston or something because she had a very strong accent very very rude I mean I wasn't even to the point where I was going to yell yet very rude to me I was like why why are why is this why can't we talk to the person at the store right because we we dropped the computer off at a physical store and then we the guy's like yeah we'll just go get your part okay well how are we gonna talk to you has anybody else encountered this so we have to drive all the way over there to get the part and physically hand it to the guy when he already said, yeah, just order it and I'll go get it and put it in your computer. So this this is like absurdness right now. Literally absurdness. Just like when I got my first smartphone and I was like, wait a minute. This is not what I thought it was going to be. So everybody's like, yeah, you can't live without it. I can't live. I can live without a smartphone, please. Um, yeah, so if we knew that, we probably wouldn't have taken it that far away. The only place that, the only reason why we took it there is because of my birthday. Because we were going there anyway, and we thought we would only have to go back one other time to pick the computer up. But yeah, you have to make three trips. It's awesome. Anyway, he's going to go by himself. He doesn't have to, but he wants to, so he's going to take Raphael with him. Maybe they'll go out and do something fun. I don't know. I am like, I'm kind of flabbergasted. Like you have to go instead of through the middle, you got to go all the, all the way around and then do manual labor yourself, uh, to get anything done. I, I have not experienced this. Like it makes sense for you to go get my part that I just paid for three days ago. We've been on the phone for three days, by the way, trying to figure this out. So we didn't have to drive up there for nothing. So he's going to drive up there, get the part, and hand it to him. Not, not, uh, you know, not streamlined. Round the, round the circle a couple times. So, well, I guess you're going to have fun, aren't you? You're going to go with Daddy? Yeah, he's out there doing the trash. Uh -huh. Yeah, and yeah. I'm cleaning the floor. The camera died, so I want to go get the camera battery that's uh, readily plugged in here. Readily plugged in the camera camera battery charger. Anyway, so it's fully charged. Thank, thank goodness because it was not plugged in. Um, I got some stuff going on here. I have to finish my work before Hadar gets home. So, Welcome back. Yep. 
to both of us, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. We just got home. We didn't take the camera with us, but we went to the town nearby to, well, uh, we picked up a part and put it right back in that store. So Best Buy, in case you guys ever do this procedure, they will diagnose your computer, tell you what's wrong with it, tell you what part you most likely need, because they can't ever guarantee, but obvious reasons, you know, they have to tell you. For obvious reasons, they tell you what it is and you go get it. But if you pick it up from the same physical store, you turn it into the same people. They, uh, come, I worded it weird, but they can't pick it up for you in that same store. So we were forced to drive in a storm today. A very hard storm, one of the hardest I've ever seen. You said it's the hardest that's ever rained in your life. One of them. One yeah. of the biggest storms. It's yeah, it rained so hard and so much that we just we couldn't even see from the front or the sides, really. Raphael was saying the rain is dancing on Mommy's window, but, you know, it's just the wind swirling it over and over again. Yeah, like this. Yeah. It was raining so hard, we were on the highway, and everybody slowed down to like 30 miles per hour. And at some point, it wasn't safe enough to even do that. And people, some people got off the road, which is even worse. Like, you don't want to do that. You want to act as normal as possible within, you know, the limits of safety. So we literally could not see f in, in front of us. And, and the, obviously the wipers were going the fastest mode, but we just couldn't see anything. Like this. Yeah. It's just wiping, wiping, wiping. Right. So after about three hours on the phone and on the chat online at the same time with different representative and different things, like the Best Buy does not take call in to the store. You can only email them with, uh, you know, the one to three, one to three business days reply, or you have to physically go into the store. You cannot call the store. So we tried to do that so the Geek Squad person, the representative, could literally walk 30 footsteps and pick it up. So we had to drive there ourselves and do that. Why don't we just ask them to do that? Why didn't they just do it? Right. They would not do it for security reasons. Even though you know you you uh, you present yourself online, you present proof that you are you that they are talking to. They still need you to go physically to the store, or you can set a note for Geek Squad to pick it up. But so the representative told us to do that, and we did. But they never went and they took it. They never went there to take it. So. We wasted about four days, you know, thinking, okay, well, they're probably going to go get it, right? But that never happened. So, we spent a lot of time and trouble, hours on the phone and on the internet, just trying to figure this out. Why, wouldn't, did... why wouldn't they just walk less than, less than 30 steps? Right. And just go there and get it. Because we couldn't reach them. And because they are not allowing anybody to pick it up except for me, because I ordered it. What? Yeah. Just wait until you're an adult That's and you start doing store. stuff like that. It is crazy. I find it crazy. I don't like that at all. And it, it was not safe. It was like for a valid reason. But And of course they can't discriminate the reason why you wouldn't go pick it up. But today has not been a good day. And by not a good day, I mean weather-wise. Like the day itself, it's alright. You know, the, the person having the worst time of the day, uh, today I mean, is Rudy. Because she can't get off the porch to go do her thing in the yard. This is the aftermath. It's no longer like heavily raining. It's just there. And uh, once again, you know, it just soaked our entire yard. It, it rained all day. That's very sturdy. I like that. And I also like how very green everything becomes once rain is here. In the presence of rain, everything is super green, super luscious. Looking great. I don't mind this weather. But that was unsafe, and I, I don't wish that I had the phone because I was not going to film it anyway. I had to have both my hands on the wheel the whole time, and you know, a foot basically waiting to break at any given moment because the people in front of me that did not know how to drive in the rain just slowed down so much so, and newer cars than ours. So it's not like a car safety thing, but they slow down so much that it's just not safe to be behind them because you can't predict when and how fast they're gonna break. So for me, that's, you know, that's a regular day. I, I'm used to crazy drivers. When it comes to driving like that, like whatever happens, I am two steps ahead of them in terms of safety. So it's whatever. Anyway, that was our day. Ugh.
It is super long in therapy for the past year now. Enough to become a poodle, but it wasn't. It was a giant dog, too. We got enormous boxes. Yeah, it's a toad. We don't get very many turtles visiting here. I wish I were way smaller.